Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce a new feature that makes it easier to share models with people so that they can consume and use the model data that you've created. So here I am in Trimble Connect and this new feature is now available in the organizer. So if I come to the organizer and hit this add a new group, you'll see that a new option has been added and it's called the new rule based group. And what this allows you to do is to create a hierarchy breakdown based on any property that's stored within your model so that they can easily select, view, and colorize the model based upon that information. So what I mean by that is if I click on an individual column here and come to Tecla column, I can see that the phase information is included in this project. Well, as opposed to me clicking on each object individually, I want to create a breakdown, a hierarchy breakdown, so that I can easily view all of the phases within the model, select them, and colorize them to make it easy to share with people or to use this model depending upon what I'm trying to do. So to do that, what I'll do is come here and create a new rule-based group. This will allow me to select the models that I'm working with. In this case, I only have one model, so I'll just select that. I can then define whether I want to work with parts or assemblies. In this first example, we'll just use the parts. And now I can add a property to group by. So the property we were just looking at is phase. So I'll go ahead and search for phase. It will then be identified here. And now what this will do is it'll create that hierarchy breakdown of all of the phases that are identified in this project. If I want, I can also create a color for each of the phases so that I can easily identify those in the model. If I want to modify those, I can just click this arrow here and choose a new color. And then once I have everything set up the way that I want, I can click Save. It will then add that to the organizer so that I can expand this tree and see the clear breakdown of each of the phases, as you can see here. So here's phase 16, it tells me that there's 434 objects in that phase, so I can click on that. They will then be highlighted in the model. I'll have the normal navigation options. I can hide those if I want. I can only show those if I want. I can zoom to selected. So all the normal navigation stuff, this just makes it real easy for me to be able to isolate things. And then if I come in and click on this button up here to turn on the colorization, it will then colorize the model based upon the phases or that hierarchy breakdown that I've defined. So it's very quick and easy using this new feature to be able to use the data already stored within the model to colorize, to select, and to isolate certain things. So let's show one more example. Let's go here to a new rule-based group. Again, we're just going to select this one model. We'll leave this as parts. And this time I want to create a breakdown based upon material. So I'll go ahead and select that. You can then see all the material grades that it automatically identified. I can go ahead and add colors as well. And then I'll click on save. Again, that will be added over here on the left-hand side as a tree view. So if I want to expand this and take a look at all of the different material grades, I can do that. So if I want to isolate everything that's A992, I can click to select those. And then I can hide everything else or just hide those. Uh, but it makes it very easy to interact with these different grades of material uh, that are here within my model. And then same idea, if I want to come in and colorize based on the material grade, then I can click that button and now my model is colorized so I can easily see that. If I want to make modifications at any time, I can click these three dots here, come down to Open Settings. That will then open this same dialog over on the right-hand side and I can click Edit and then I can modify the colors or I can adjust the groups or the models that it's looking at. So very easy to utilize there. So let's take a look at another option. What we've been working with so far are just properties that were included in the file format that was sent. But this also works within the property sets within Trimble Connect. I've done a separate video on property sets, so I won't go into too much detail right now of how that works, but I'll provide a link in the comments below so that you can go look at that if you're not familiar with it. But property sets within Trimble Connect allow you to create any sort of custom property and to store and track data about these objects, even if it wasn't initially included in the file that you were sent. 
So I'll show you an example of that. Let's go ahead and just get on the top view of this. I'm going to go here to select assemblies and I'm just going to window select some objects. And now what I want to do is add a property to those objects that I have selected in the model that wasn't initially included in this file. So I created a custom property called model review. And if I come here to edit this, you can see that I've defined three different drop downs. So approved, approved is noted and revise and resubmit. So for those that I have selected, I'll go ahead and click approve and say save. That will then write that property to those objects that I have selected in the model. And then just for different variation, I'll go ahead and do the same here and set these two other properties. So approved is noted for this group. Once that's saved, I'll go ahead and do the same for this group over here and set this to be the last one, revise and resubmit and click save. So once that's done, um, any of these properties, again, if I come in and select on these objects, I can hit the drop down and see that a model review status has been added. But if I want to create a hierarchy breakdown to see all of the model review status and colorize based on that status, that's where these new rule based groups come in very handy. So I'll come back over here and create a new rule based group. I'll select this project that I'm working in. I'll then choose the assembly since we added it to the assembly level. And then I just come search for this custom property that I've created called model review. And then it will show me the status options that I've created. And then if I want to add color, of course I can do that. And this time I want to be very specific on what my colors mean. So I'm going to go ahead and say anything that doesn't have a status set to be gray. Anything that's approved, I want to be green. Approved as noted will be yellow and revise and resubmit all set to be red and click on save. And then what that will do again is it will create the hierarchy breakdown. So if I want to select all of the assemblies that are revise and resubmit, I can do that. And then I can also come in and colorize my model and clearly see my red, yellow, green traffic lights based upon the review status. And then as I go in and add more properties, these colors will update, these quantities will update, everything's dynamic and live there, which is very, very useful. So what happens when a revision takes place? If we get sent a new version of the model, so maybe this is revision one of the project and we get a new file that's revision two. Of course, we don't want to lose any information, but we want to absorb the new project data as well. So I'll show you how that works. So if I go back here, I'll just go ahead and manually simulate this and I'll just drop in a new version of the model that has additional framing and stuff like that that's added to it that you can see now is being loaded. If I go back to my 3D view, um, I could refresh my browser. Um, but if you're working in a project, uh, collaborating with someone and they upload a new version of the file, what I want to show you is just the notification that will come on this screen so that you can ensure that you're always working with the most up-to-date file. So I'll give this a few seconds for the notification to pop up because I want to show you what that looks like. And then I'll show you how we can then continue our work without losing any of the information that we've done. So here's the notification that I was talking about. If I click on this now, it will load in the new version of the model. That way I make sure that I'm always using the most up-to-date version. And now I can see the additions that have been added. So if I zoom in here, you can see that this stuff around the perimeter is additional information that was included in this version 2 of the model. So if I come and take a look at the stuff that I've already done, so let's say that I colorize the model based on review status and zoom in here, you can see that the new information that was added, it's not using the rules and stuff that I've set up. But all of my old work has remained. So what I need to do is just come here to these three dots and just click on update group. It will then read through that new model. It will run through all of my rules again and group everything. And now you can see that those that haven't been reviewed are gray. If I then use this drop down here and click on that, it will include all of the new information. So it's just a simple go in and click update. It will rerun the rules based on the new model file and then I can continue working with the up-to-date information. So same idea over here. If I were to click on phase, for example, and colorize the model, you can see that everything's colorized by phase except for my new stuff. So if I just come over here and just click update group, 
it will read the new file and now everything's colorized based upon phase if I expand the hierarchy breakdown uh, of course I can continue to click on the things that have been added and be able to identify those so here's phase 21 now that's newly added with 14 85 objects associated to it. So pretty slick and easy. Once a new file comes in or new revision, just go ahead and click on update. You don't lose any work and then you can continue working as soon as that update takes place. So this is something that we're very excited about to make it very easy to consume the models that we spend a lot of time creating so that people downstream can utilize this information in a quick and reliable way. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.